Hey Star Wars fans, so I thought I'd do a little video here on my uh, latest 0.45 scale 3D printed lightsabers I got off Shapeways.com. So for comparison, this is Ray's lightsaber made by EFX Collectibles. This is actually made of like stainless steel and plastic grips and uh, a lot of other metal parts here, so really neat. But uh, the companies aren't really making any more of these. This is the last one I'm aware of. So on uh, Shapeways, you can buy these uh, 3D printed ones. So this is the Kylo Ren one I just painted up here, and uh, I'll talk about how I painted this. So first, uh, I use this brand of paint, Vallejo, because these are acrylic paints you can actually thin down with uh, water. You don't need to have IPA or any sort of solvent, and so it's a lot safer for you. They do have a line here that has called Air, Model Air. So this one actually seems to have water in it, so it's so liquidy, you can just throw it into a, an airbrush and it'll shoot shoot pretty well. Whereas this is not an airbrush one, so it's a little thick, but uh, you can thin it down with water. So this is the brand I highly recommend. It works great. You know, these dropper bottles are fantastic. It just makes it really easy to dump into a paint tray. I got these little cheap stainless steel paint trays. Or dump into your airbrush if you're going to do it more professionally. Okay, so for the Kylo, what I did is I... Uh, I painted the whole thing, gold and bronze, and then I, uh, after that, I just took some black, the premium black, and I laid this black on with just a paintbrush and some water. So I just did a couple layers of that, and then I took my fingers and I just rubbed off sections of it, and then it revealed the metallic paint I had underneath it. The really hard part about this Kylo and the other one is this uh, heat treatment that they have. You know, this metal would change colors based on the heat from a lightsaber. So at first I was using this, you know, a little blue, a little gold, and just laying them on really thin with water. So they're really thin paint apps, but a lot of them. So it layers it up and some black as well. But then I tried this thing out. There are these cheap markers you can buy off a of eBay or AliExpress, and they're metallic, specifically metallic markers. And so I just laid on a little blue and then I just take my finger and I rub it downwards and it works really well. For some reason the purple doesn't work so well, but this blue marker is worth buying if you're going to try to simulate this blue heat treatment that I did on this lightsaber here. And I also put it into the wire there. The red I painted on with a brush, you know, I just did it with a thin brush using this Vallejo red. Um, I buy cheap paint brushes and I cut them to you know for my specific use so look how tiny the the paintbrush heads are on these so i just take some scissors and cut them down as necessary and again they're, they're super cheap so it's no big deal okay so that's what i did for a kylo it took a little bit of time but uh i think it actually looks somewhat like the, the real movie prop so I'm, I'm quite happy with it Okay, I put a little red in there, figuring it's a red lightsaber. Maybe I'll paint over that again. I'm not sure. This one I didn't really bother, though. So I don't know. It is all it is hollow inside. If you want to, I don't know, maybe try to stick an LED in there. But again, this is a one piece of plastic. You can't break it apart, so that might be difficult to do. Okay, well, anyways, uh, the highlight, though, is this uh, dark gray saber, the folding saber. Oh, actually, before I do that, here's a size comparison between... Ray's normal saber and Kylo saber. Okay, so they look pretty good. Okay, so now, yeah, Ray's dark saber. I'll start with the size comparison. Okay. So for this one, I just, uh, I used an airbrush this time, and I just shot the model air and painted the whole thing silver, and then I clear coated it with the same brand of paint, Vallejo Clear Coat. And the reason why is, uh, when you're laying on colors on top of it, if you make a mistake, you have a good chance of wiping off the color and not removing the silver beneath it because it's got a clear coat barrier. So after the clear coat, I just uh, used the regular paint brushes again to, to paint all the red stuff. And then I did a, a black wash over all of this, everything. And again, this was uh, originally, I just used some blue paint and I mixed some red and blue to make purple. And then ultimately, I, I I remembered I had the metallic uh, paint marker here, and that's what this blue is here. So I put the marker there, and I just took my thumb and did that a bunch of times. And it, I think it works pretty well. I'm all right with it.
okay? So what's nice about this one is it comes in two pieces. So there's a little screw here. It's an M2, metric two by 10, 10 millimeters long. So a two millimeter diameter and 10 millimeters long. And the corresponding nut is on this side here. But it allows you to fold the saber just like the real one in the movie. All right, so I'm not sure if I can get this in the, the shot here because my camera's pretty close, but hmm. Well, let's see, let me pick up the camera. There you go, so you get an idea about the size comparison. All right, let me uh, fold it. Let me show you all three here if I can. Okay. All right, so yeah, you know, I'm not the greatest uh, painter. I just kind of do this while I watch TV. But uh, I think with enough time and patience, you can get the, some lightsabers that are relatively close looking to uh, the movie props. But uh, yeah, you gotta have some patience and the ability to paint stuff. So, okay, well, thought uh, just share that with you guys. I'm gonna put a link on the Shapeways page for one of these sabers and then you can find the store. Cause that website is really not friendly to use at all. All they're trying to do at Shapeways is have you pay for them to design stuff for you. But there is a marketplace section at the bottom of their homepage. But anyways, I'll, I'll add, add a link here for you guys. All right guys, take care, bye.